Hey you guys, uh, can we all go to page uh, 11 of your book? Uh, that, that same section, but just go back a little. Page 11, and you'll find, guys, this part of your book in which you have multiple choice items. Okay? Over there. Now, this can be a little tricky because what we have here, guys, is some multiple choice items. We haven't really dealt with this before, but let me just give you some important guidelines as regards how we deal with these kinds of questions. Now, what we're about to listen to is typical section three, where you will have at least three speakers talking to each other. Now, in this example, you'd be listening to a lady, she is the professor, and there are two other people who are her students. And they'll talk about something regarding science and what its impact to society is. So the first two items here are, again, multiple choices like the others. But let's take a look at, guys, the question here. Number one, what, according to the tutor, happened to, sci to scientists in the 20th century? So some key words. Tutor is what you have to watch out for. The 20th century and scientists. Okay. Now, you might hear the speaker talk about something that scientists did in some periods of time, but watch out for 20th century, okay? Now, you have to read the choices very quickly. That's a very important key in listening for multiple choice because you need to be able to distinguish what the choices are. So for example, A, they lost contact with the rest of society, they began to lose interest in ethical issues, or they did both good and harm to the world. So what are the keywords here? Lost contact. They, they lost interest. They did both good and harm. Yeah, those are the keywords. Now the trick, guys, in multiple choice items is that you would almost always hear the speaker mention these keywords over here. However, for you to get the correct answer, I'd like you to wait till the end of the part of the conversation so that you will get the correct answer. Now, in many instances, the correct answer is given last. So don't assume that the keywords you hear represent the answers. You have to first wait till everything is given. Now, number two, one of the students says that scientists should not. The keyword here is not, what they should not do. They should not publish the results of certain kinds of research, they should not distinguish between pure and applied science, or they should not feel responsible for the applications of science, okay? Who are we looking for here? One of the students. So there are two students here, so watch out for the other speaker that you will be listening to, okay? So let's now listen 